Geek here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, today I have something a little bit different for you guys. Um, it's gonna be a story. That's right, you heard correctly. Story time with Kira. So I was chilling in bed, and it was starting to get a little late. It was like almost midnight, and I had to get up somewhat early the next morning for... I don't know. You know, it might have been last Sunday, because that Sunday I had a matinee with this show I was in. Um, my foot's itchy. So maybe, maybe it was then. I don't know. And I had to get up kind of early, because I had to be at the theater around 12.30. Yeah, 12.30. I had to be around the theater at 12.30. So I had to get up early, and it was already, like, almost midnight, like, literally 10 till that's kind of fun to say 10 till so while i need to get up around 10 to maybe like 10 30 so i have enough time to get ready to get to the theater at 12 30 i'm laying in bed on my back staring at the wall it's 10 till midnight and my cat is going bananas i don't know what her deal was she just could not settle down she was Jumping from my bed onto the dresser where her food is, eating very loudly for a little bit, then jumping back on, making everything bad. Ugh. Disaster. So, I'm laying in bed, desperately trying to think of something that will make me fall asleep like that. And because the show was centered around hypnosis, first thing I thought of was, hypnosis! Why not? So, I googled sleep hypnosis. And a couple things popped up where it was like deep sleep hypnosis, but all the videos were like four minutes long, and I'm sitting here kind of thinking, okay, that doesn't make a lot of sense. If you're gonna put me, my brain, and my brain's very active, I know hypnosis is kind of the thing where your consciousness has to kind of like go away and it just has to, and it's very hard for my brain to do that because my brain likes to be in control of me a lot. And of other things, um, my conscious, my constant, my conscience, my, my conscience does not like to be hypnotized. Because I've, you know, I've been bored a couple days, mm, six months ago or whenever. And I've gone online, I've uh, googled uh, hypnosis, magical tricks, and it mm, didn't work. But then, I found this web website, I forgot what it was called, but it was on YouTube, YouTube channel. I'll link it in the description, it's actually and I'm kind of browsing through their stuff, right? And the first one that pops out to me is temporary paralysis. Now, this website had other options, other hypnotic videos to help you fall into a deep sleep. But the one that caught my eye was temporary paralysis. What? I know I've had a feeling of being trapped and... I've had kind of that feeling of not really being able to move, and I hate that feeling. I really do. I don't like um, not being able to, well, essentially run away from the scary thing that's causing me to freeze in my spot. I hate that. But I'm laying in bed comfortable. My cat is kind of calming down a little bit. Still bananas, but she's always bananas, so it's okay to be nuts. So, I'm like, okay, I mean, I'm in a safe place. Why not give it a go? Because I don't know why I decided to do temporary paralysis, but I did. Plus, I didn't really think it was going to work because, I mean, all the other hypnotic thingies I've tried didn't work. And, I mean, what the heck. So, I clicked on the video, and this guy, his voice comes on. His voice was equivalent to the feeling of warm, melted butter sliding down your throat when you're cold. When you, or when you have a cold. Ah! It was one of the most soothing voices I've ever heard. And his microphone had, like, softness turned up. I don't know. <laughs> but it made his voice so soft and so smooth and so deep and just... Mm. It's like some voices are just easier to listen to than others. My voice, I know, is kind of hard to listen to sometimes because, well, number one, my brain's in a million places at once. But this is the wrong story. It's just, mm -mm. I'm just trying to say that his voice was amazing. Okay. Cool. 
So I get in a comfortable position. I kind of prop my tablet with the little spinny thing on my dresser, and I'm facing that. Or not my dresser, my nightstand. And I'm kind of facing it, and I'm just chilling. I'm a blanket on me. I'm feeling good. And he's talking, and I'm desperately trying to focus on just his words. Because my brain's thinking this is so dumb. I should be asleep. Oh, my God, it's midnight already. In fact, it was probably 10 after midnight because, yeah, that's how time works at night. It speeds up. I swear. So, yeah, I'm just kind of chilling, you know, and then it started happening. I'm sitting there, I'm listening to his voice, and next thing you know, he snaps his fingers. That was lame. He says, sleep, and I can't open my eyes. And I feel like I'm asleep, but I can still hear him. And then he woke me back up again, and then I could see, but my eyes are really heavy. And next thing I know, all... I'm aware of is his voice. So I'm kind of sitting here like a hollow body, just listening to his voice and feeling and experiencing and essentially doing really whatever he told me to do. It was weird. And the most thing he was making me do is just breathe, but it was so effortless that I was doing it. I was totally susceptible to this guy on the internet who recorded a video of himself talking weird stuff into a microphone and then added an image of a swirly hypnotic swirl purple thing. Anyway, so I'm laying here listening to his voice, so calm, feeling really good. Actually like there was like this warm sensation going through me and it felt so nice. Then, he said, he was saying stuff along the lines of, You are beginning to lose the feelings in your toes. You are beginning to lose feelings in your toes. Now in your feet. Now in your ankles. Now in your thighs. You are beginning to lose feeling." In your toes, then your feet, now your ankles, your legs. Paralyzed. I could not move my legs or my feet or my ankles or my toes. Nuh uh. Mm -mm, nothing. It was just my lower body that he paralyzed. Thank freaking God. <sighs> he even, he was, okay. He even gave time in the video for me to try, like, actually, like, he brought me back to consciousness, so I wasn't sleeping, and he literally, like, urged me on to, like, try, go ahead and try to lift your legs, move your toes, twitch your feet. I move it, miss that, bleh. I try to. When I was conscious and I tried hard, they wouldn't move. It was like my brain had taken my legs and my feet and my ankles and my toes and they tied them all up in duct tape and then duct tape that to the bed and mm, they wouldn't move at all. It was so weird. I had no control. I literally had my brain and I was focusing on my legs, my ankles, my toes, my feet. Thinking, move, move, go up, go down, go side to side, I don't care, move. They didn't budge. So this guy pretty much had me like this for 10 seconds, which felt like 10 minutes, not quite 10 hours, but 10 minutes like this, although it was really 10 seconds, but I don't understand why clocks even matter in time and hypnosis, because in hypnosis, time goes away. It's non-existent. Bye-bye. Time. Finally, he said that when I snap my fingers, you'll become out of the trance, be able to move your legs all over again. He snapped his fingers. Well, bam. Free at last. Woo! Ah, uh, I'm a flip-flop. So, yeah. Ugh.
I can move. My lower body is no longer paralyzed. I checked out some more stuff on that guy's website, but then it started getting kind of weird, like vampire enslavement. Um, <laughs> so I pretty much decided that I'm not really into hypnotism. It's not really a thing for me. Besides, a lot of his other videos didn't exactly work on me. It was just that one particular video. Um, it was, um, it's kind of scaly. So yeah, that's the story of when I was hypnotically paralyzed. That probably didn't make much sense, but that's the only way I could think to put it. It's summer. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.